Hello, good evening. Hey, good evening. Oh, how are you? I'm good. What happened? Yeah. It, and the rest? I don't know. They haven't joined <laughs> yet. Uh -uh, they're not. I don't know. Maybe it's raining. It has been a little bit weird, the weather. So probably they have problems with the connection. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see one for today. Well, we're going to start with some adjectives. Okay. To review some of them. They are considered like advanced adjectives because we can replace them uh, for another. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to start with some. Tell me, when do we use? Give me, give me, give me a, a second. Just, mm -hmm. just uh, can you you hear better, right? Better than than before. Yes, yes. Yes, I I I fixed that. I fixed oh, it. Oh, really? So, yeah. Yes, yes. What's the problem? Mm, well, uh, as you know, wireless are made of uh, with uh, with uh, copper, right? Mm -hmm. But the copper is not pure, it's like a mix mix of copper and another uh, material. So mm -hmm. uh, that's why uh, if you use them. Uh, frequently so we have the problem that uh, a, a son of more of the 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 the, the cord uh, uh, it received damage uh, they they're hot and the copper is like a the mm -hmm. I don't know oh. it smell that life on deer, right? It's the same. Um. Oh. Melt. Yeah, we can use it. Melt. So, but uh, this melt and that, that that that's the problem. I I uh, I have interfered when I try to talk okay. or, or or listening. So that's why uh, I fixed it. And well, and now I can hear and speak better. Yes, that sounds really good. Okay, that's not. Uh, okay. Yes, I hope you don't have problems. Ah, bold. Uh, I know the meaning. So, hmm? bold. Okay. I know. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, when do we use it? Uh, when a person is uh, really, really, really uh, like uh, uh, smart and it's skillful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could be. Mm -hmm. Skillful. Yeah. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Actually, it has two, two minutes. Okay. We use bold to bright or vivid colors or flavor. That will be bold colors. Mm -hmm. And also, as you say, when someone is smart, intelligent, or to be courageous in actions. Yes. So, Juan, help me to read the two examples. Okay, both uh, bright or I don't know how to pronounce this word. BB, BB, yes. BB colors or flavors uh, to be courageous in action. Uh, read the example. Yes, please. The company wanted to use bold colors. The bold man saved the day by stopping the death. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. It's, it's a nice. It's a nice yeah. objective. It's not uh, very common to, to use, but it, it's yeah. really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not common, exactly. It's not common good to good use. Good evening, guys. I'm afraid that I want only the one in the class today. <laughs> Hello, Juan. Good evening. <laughs> Hello. Okay, okay. So, now, uh, hi. Now let's see. Hi, are you late, Marilyn and Omar? <laughs> yeah, Hi. A little bit. <laughs> okay, so let's see, Marilyn, what's this for? When do we use? Uh, we use creepy when uh, 
something uh, we don't like or we get afraid of. It's exactly. like, mm -hmm. the, or we get disgusted too. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a creepy. So that was a feeling of fear or strangeness, scary. Okay, Madeline, help me through with the example. Damn. The doll, he, the doll in the picture is very creepy. <laughs> yes, that's true, that could be. Okay, yes, so the creepy, we'll call the first one, bull, the next one, creepy. Okay, now, Omar, what about eager? What, what is it for? Um, let me see when, maybe when I, I'm overthinking about that, maybe I'm, I'm be eager, for example, when you I need to pay, uh -huh. when I need pay my, my bill to the end of the month and I don't have money and I, I could be eager, for example. Mm -mm. No, because that's a positive, uh, that's a negative reaction. And eager is opposite. It's when you want to do it. Hmm? Is isn't, isn't, when I, isn't when I'm overthinking about that? Is okay. the same? No. No, no, it's not. Oh. Oh, I, I don't know what is the mean of eager. Okay, eager, yes, is when you overthink about it, but it's a positive meaning. The one that you describe it, uh, like oh. if you want to pay a bill at the end of the month and you don't have money and you are thinking, right, you are being eager what you're going to do, it's a bad feeling. But when you use eager, huh, it's a synonym of excited to do something. Oh, right. Hmm? So I, 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 I talk about uh, about that when I'm excited for for something or for somewhere, but but it's a, a different word. I mm -hmm. never heard I never heard that but but okay. it's so so very very good. Okay. So eager guys it has a positive meaning want to do something very much. So you excited to do something. So Omar, help me to read the, the sentence. Sure. Want to do something very much, excited to do something. The woman was eager to start her new job. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, good. Juan, I don't know if you are saying something, I listen a little bit, no? No one? No? Did you say oh, something? Sorry. No. Oh, okay. No. Did you say no. something? No, no. no. I, I, uh, this is the... Uh, is adjective or adjective? Oh, adjective. Adjective. So, adjective. adjective. Yeah. I, I, I use the, the adverb, but yeah. the adjective is the first time that I heard it. Oh, okay, okay. Eagerly. So, oh, eagerly. Yeah, eagerly. I use eagerly, but not eager. So. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Remember that most of the time the adjective we can become them mm -hmm. as an adverb, as in l y at the end. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, Omar, what about filthy? Yes, filthy is maybe when. When some when something is is dirty or nasty, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's felt exactly. When something is extremely dirty, uh -huh. at the point it is disgusting. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, help me with with example. The kids. The kids were filthy with mud after playing outside. Okay, good mood yeah, after playing outside. 
Very good. So that is filthy. It's another way to say dirty, but it's it's you're describing like that. Um, it's, it's okay. Dirty, 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 and nasty is is the same. Is the same to filthy. Which or one? not? Dirty, Which dirty, and nasty. Dirty and nasty. This looks, this looks like the same. Maybe dirty. or not. It's not. Could be. I think. Well, then. Let me think. Mm. Uh, uh, nasty is when something is 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 like uh, uh, filthy, but in when you say something, when you think a, a wrong way mm -hmm. oh. of something, this is that that's nasty. For example, if I said mm, that woman is really, really, really uh, sexy, uh, you you are nasty. So that that's the point. Okay, mm -hmm. I got it. One, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the other, in the in the other one, in the other one is literally uh, that uh, something is really filthy. So hi, you are hi. You can watch it. You can like uh, yes, watch it or even touch it. Yes. But when you say nasty, that is like how do, you, how do you say something un unreal? Nasty mm. is something filtered, but unreal is you cannot touch it. Oh, it's abstract. A abstract, yeah. Abstract that, that, thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yes. But nasty, as you say, all the time must have a sexual interpretation. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And filthy, no, it's not. Filthy is worse than dirty. But you, you can say it, touch it, or you can see it, exactly. And nasty is just uh, uh, something abstract. that is abstract. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And could be. How do you spell that abstra uh, abstract? Abstract. That would be A B S T R A C. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. Abstract. Oh, glad for you, miss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay, I I have I have the three definitions about about that three words. Thank you. The three. Okay, okay, good, good guy. Now let's see. Huh. Grumpy. What means grumpy? Grumpy. There, there is a there is a uh, a a TV show for kids with that name. Grumpy. grumpy. Really? Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen it. What's the meaning? Do you know it? Madeline, do you know Frumpy? When do we use it? We use it when we want to say that someone is always in a bad mood, uh, like mad, always. <laughs> trying to to be right even when they're not right mm -hmm. yes there is a movie yeah. very famous <laughs> <laughs> yes it's grumpy being in a bad mood or being irritable yes that's grumpy mm -hmm. like the example the cat looks grumpy in yeah. the morning uh-huh. Really? Oh, yes. really. The, cat looks really. Grumpy. the cat looks grumpy in the morning. Yes, exactly. So that's the meaning of grumpy. It's like another synonym of angry. Yes. Okay, now let's see. Juan, what is harsh? If something Like uh, um, I I know the 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 word and and I know how to use it, but and how how can I put in a, in a contest? So harsh is so when uh, super is is heavy, like uh, um,
Mm -hmm. uh, how do you say, how do you say uh, lija in, in, in English? You got me on that one. But, but, um. but, but, <laughs> uh, but lija has a word that, that is harsh. Oh, okay. The, um, I think it's sandpaper. Sandpaper, we call it. Uh, yeah, sandpaper uh, has a word that, that is harsh. Did harsh. Harsh? Harsh, yeah. The, uh, well, uh, uh, in that contest, uh, uh, I I saw it. Okay. Well, yes, could be, but okay. We're going to like to separate. Harsh. Most of the time, we can use it with something abstract. Let's see who tell me to read. Ah, oh, got it. Harsh. <laughs> Unpleasant, right? Unpleasant mm -hmm. to the sense or to be cruel or severed to someone. Example, the noun was very harsh with her punishment. Ah, mm -hmm. ah. Yes, maybe maybe I think when the situation mm. is the situation is is talk. Maybe not real. That you, yeah. you you can use harsh uh, as as the same as use uh nasty right yes mm -hmm. it's an uh, abstract. abstract word right yes exactly, exactly i know mm -hmm. and when uh, you describe the sandpaper that is hard mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. use hard and also and also it used to uh, uh, in the in the way that i explained before right yes could be both uh, exactly okay mm -hmm. Could be both. In this case, yes, we can use harsh with something that you can touch, like a sandpaper, and also like this, like the behavior of someone. Also, we can say the climate, it's too harsh for some crops. For mm. Or um, the government is taking harsh measures against crime. That could be another one. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about, um, let's see, abstract elements. Yes. Okay. If you can see me now, I am I am as uh, as a kid at the school with a <laughs> with a book and and, and a pencil writing. <laughs> so. Okay. okay, that's really good. Guys. Let's see what else we have. Itchy. What is itchy? itchy. Yeah, it's a good one. When do we use it? Do you know it? Let's see, Omar. Do you know when to use it? It's she, let me see. Um, in the context about feelings or liter literary. Mm. The, 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 this, that word have the two contexts, literary or in and the on on the feelings, ah, or not? Both. Yes, could be both. Most of the time it's literary. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So could be itchy. Yeah, I I, okay. I, know, I know it uh, in literary contest. Okay. Okay. Can can you help me, Juan? Please. No, okay, you well. you explained the other <laughs> one, but I, I don't know the other one, so that film. Okay, maybe maybe I think when maybe for example when I when I got um uh, when I got uh, a food, a Indian food maybe or or Thailand food, maybe the, the food the Indian food is very itchy, maybe I think so about it. Mm -hmm. That is the abstract. Or the literary? The li the literary, maybe, I think. Mm, yes. And the exactly. itchy, and the itchy, maybe, maybe, maybe will be when a, when a person is irritable, maybe, I think. Mm -mm, yes, that could be. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Very good. Okay. So, <laughs> itchy. <laughs> so itchy, no. as you say, when you eat Indian food. Mm-hmm. That could be uncomfortable feeling of the skin. 
Okay, or on your throat, that would be too. That makes you want to scratch it. Mm -hmm. and that, your... Yes? In, in that way, uh, I know it. Oh, that's yeah. the one that you knew. Yeah, no. Yeah. Okay. The shirt made her neck very itchy. Yes. Itchy, exactly. yeah. And if you talk about oh. food, that could be itchy too, or could be a spicy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But for example, if uh if it is not a spice, a spicy, sorry, but it makes you to to cough, that would be itchy. And this expression guy could be also a verb, okay? Like to yeah, it's a verb. Yes, a verb. Mm -hmm. Like to provoke the feeling of itch, a scratch, something. Sorry, that would be itch. Ah, I would say itch. Right? A scratch is is synonym, is synonymous. Yes. Synonymous. Mm -hmm. Yes, of itchy. Mm -hmm. That would be itchy. You can translate it like irritante. Exactly, yes. uh -huh. but when you use uh, as a verb, as as uh, Omar said, uh, you can use, um, uh, for example, just example, Omar. Uh, uh, well, each uh -huh. with uh, her comments, for example. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, yes. it's just an example. Yes, exactly. Yes, it's don't it. worry. Okay. <laughs> because so, it's uh huh. In that context, as a verb, you can use in that in that way. Yes, exactly. Because it's just like picar, right? Or hacer picar. Mm -hmm. That would exactly. be the, the yes. meaning of like a verb. So well, yes, we can use it in both. So without letter Y, it's a verb. But letter Y is, is the, it's like, it's, it's a <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Now let's see the next one. Well, that's easy. Joyful. Tell me. What could be a sign and name of joyful? To be uh, when someone is extremely happy or my smiley person. When mm -hmm. someone, when someone ha have a a good vibe, mm -hmm. always. Yes, I think it's true. It's oh, where something it, it, where someone is at the in the church. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, then we have joyful. It's like feeling great happens. Yes, it's and we have the example. Loma, help me to read it. Yes, it was a joyful day and the girl played in the field. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Yes, all the definition that you gave it to me, they are correct. Because if you say when they have in a, a good, in a way, in, yes, that you told me, Marilyn, in a good mood, right? You say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or very happy. <laughs> oh, very happy. Uh -huh. In that case, you translate it like someone that is jovial, right? In the Spanish. Mm -hmm. Or, well, like happy, feliz. Or, as you said it, Juan, the translation that we can give it like would be like dichoso, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, it depends on the context, the best way or the best equivalent that we can find. In Spanish, yes, it's true. So let's see the next one. Ah, neat. What's the meaning of neat? What do you think? Okay, when maybe when 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 so, when something oh. Or maybe when my when my house are very neat at mm -hmm. the end of the day because I I was cleaning all the day maybe for example or the the towels are the towels are neat yes exactly so neat that means to be clean and organized in appearance yes 
like in this picture, everything is neat. So you include both clean and organized. His office was extremely neat. Okay, good. And also you can describe clothes. Okay, when you're describing someone clothes, you can say he wear near clothes. And it's that if someone appearing when someone's appearance is clean and they are look really good. Okay. Neat. Mm -hmm. Neat. Neat. Uh well uh, uh, in this case is is someone is is uh, pretty organized and clean, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, well, uh, I saw this the same uh, word "need" uh, as uh, as the country in a country, so in a bad way. Really? Uh huh. How? Be because we well, well uh, obsessive with something. Oh, okay. In this case, about 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 cleaning. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like uh, need. Yeah, like a neat person. Exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if you have, if you, when I was a teenager, you had a, you have a, 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 a bunch of friends or a group of friends, and always there is a, there is a person that is extremely, extremely neat. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, well, he, 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 he doesn't drink and and the uh, glass of water and the same that the others uh, drank drunk for example or or he doesn't like to uh, eat fast food or a junk food or something like this mm -hmm. yes i think i have listened yes i i remember but Let's see, I have listened to some expression, but that is another expression when someone is like obsessed to be clean and organized, but I don't remember. I will look and I will I, I said know. I said psychopath. Hmm? I Psycho say <laughs> I say psychopath, yeah. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> could be. <laughs> but no, we have another expression too. Okay, okay. So, well, this one, I'm not sure if it could be not like, using a bad way, to be honest, so I will look, okay? Now, what about this one, ripe? Mm. Who? Hmm? Who? Hmm, mm, let's see, Marilyn? Ripe. Yeah. Uh... We are ripe, Madeline. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I know exactly. Uh... We 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 are more than thirties. Uh, <laughs> Right, it's when something is, it's commonly used for food when it's ready to eat. Like mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. yeah. or it like, yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that, that you say it exactly. Okay, right. A fruit or grain it grows to when it's ready to be eaten or harvested. Okay, like the example. Help me with the example. What is it? The fruit? The fruit that's ripe and ready to eat. Mm -hmm. Yes. And tell me, it's possible to use ripe when you describe people? Yeah. Sure. I think. Uh, no. <laughs> what do you uh, think? Maybe. And maybe when you want to say that someone is very intense. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this case, guys, okay. right, we can use it also to describe people, but it's not the best option. Okay. 
but so, it's not what it's not the best option ah. so that's right mm -hmm. you cannot say you're right right most of the time it's just with food and specifically with organic food all mm -hmm. right right yeah, because so, for to refer to a rep, you can say you are you are you are adult, right? You are mm -hmm. not a kid. You are an adult. Adult, so yeah. yes. Or when you say mature, mature person. Mature, ah, mm -hmm. exactly. He's a mature person because you're talking about someone. And but instead of fruit, well, vegetable fruit or organic food, that is right. Yeah, exactly. That's the minute when it's ready to eat. Or harvest every single type of food that you can harvest could be right. What is your favorite uh, uh, about the picture? The picture. The picture, um, maybe bananas. Nah, come on. <laughs> yes. In my case, I don't know if uh, the if it is a tangerine. Which one? Uh, next to the green apple, tangerine maybe. Yes, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like I like uh, more. More than. More than the rest. Mm, more than the rest. Okay, okay, so good. Yes, and the between the green apple and the red one, which one do you prefer? I prefer the green apple. The green. I think that. Yes, it's better, right? Yeah. It's better, right? Yes, it's better. Yes, yeah. the, the green, the green apple, and, and the more. green, the green grapes. Yes. Yeah, that's true. The green grapes, guys. Have it's you cruncher. ever tried? Uh huh. Excuse me. It's cruncher when you when you when you buy it. Mm -hmm. But I think I don't know why green apples are expensive than exactly. the red ones. Exactly. Yes, I don't know. Yeah. Plus, Do you well, know, guys? Why? No. I th I think it's I think because it's more health healthy than <laughs> the the yeah, red yeah. apples. Oh. I don't know why, but I think I think that. Yeah. That's a good question. Okay, yeah. but no, I I don't know. Yes, I I rather the green one, but the. Um, they are expensive than the rest. I don't know why. Maybe it's difficult to cultivate it, probably. Or I don't know why. No, it, it, it's easier. It's the same? Yeah, the the, they don't need it. They don't need it. Uh, uh, more uh, cures uh, uh, than the red apple. The red apple mm -hmm. or, or is more delicate. Mm. That's why I know I don't understand uh, uh, mm -hmm. why the green apple it, it's more expensive than the than the red one. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Maybe the reason well that because it's be... green, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> and all the <laughs> and all the green things are expensive: broccoli, uh, lettuce, uh, green apples, and so on. Av avocado, right? So. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So maybe the the skin probably is delicate because if you I don't know if have you ever noticed, but the the skin of the apples when they are red, they are a a little bit. Let's see. Oh, um, a little bit thick, more mm. than the green ones. So probably the green ones are delicate more delicate than the red apples so probably that's why yeah, that's the yeah, reason yeah yeah that's... Be yeah because well uh, red apples uh, doesn't last uh, a lot in, in in your house because mm -hmm. if you if you don't eat uh, a red apple during uh, of uh, 3 or 4 days the apple is uh, it's may it's run out mhm mm they written. What? Is that written? Written. Uh, yeah, 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 written. Uh, written. Yeah. Written. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Written. That's true. Yeah, it's it's, it's it's like a, a R O T T E N, right? Yes, written. exactly. Ah, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So uh, and that in the in the green apple, uh, it lasts 
it lasts uh, more than 10 days. The the real ones. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. So maybe that's the reason why. And Ooh. let me ask you, have you ever tried apples with lemon juice? Lemon juice? Yes. Mm. Yes. And yes, and I tried the, the green apple with yeah, exactly. With, yeah, 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 yeah. You know that. With potatoes. With nah? potato. Yes. Really? How? You are sick. <laughs> yeah, with no 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 the green the green apple with pure of, of potato. That what I said. You are you are sick. <laughs> Oh no, really, no, really, it's a... Better, better in a in a in a bad, in a good way. You are sick <laughs> because you have a, a, a stomachal problem. So that what I said. No, it's a it's a recipe. It's a recipe. The 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 pure of potato with with green apple. It's oh. a recipe. It's a real recipe. Yes. No, I say that because my mom drink as drink something like like as you said. Because he has a problem, uh, he has a stomachal problem. Mm -hmm. it, it is good. It's good. As Omar said, it's a recipe. But that recipe is good for your stomach. For your stomach. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what. I don't know where the meaning of. Uh, or how, or I don't know how do you say it when you have a, a stomachal problem, like you have a. Uh, I don't know in Spanish. I forgot. The, the, the word <laughs> yeah believe me uh ah. come on help mm. me help me guys i i i, I yeah I, I forgot the word in spanish sorry it's not gastrointestinal no exact no the other one Which, uh, mm. when you when you don't eat your food correctly in and and at the time mm. you gastritis Exactly, yeah. yeah gastritis. Mm. Yeah. Okay, yes. It's a good remedy about for yeah. gastritis, yes. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's good. If you have a, I don't know, say gastritis, mm -hmm. try it. In English, it's the same. Gastritis. Yeah. Gastritis. Ah, what? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's almost the same. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. I didn't know about that. We are becoming a doctor, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So that was right. Mm -hmm. And the next one. Oh, I told you. What's this one? Rudin. That something has has to do. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Exactly. Marilyn, how much do you read? The tomato was rotten and smelled. Mm -hmm. Yes, when we cannot eat something, right, anymore. That's burden. Yes, but this is just with, as I told you, something that can be harvest. Okay? Uh, like fruits or vegetables. Burden, like organic food. Yes. Okay. Uh Yes. Guys, have you ever uh, eat a rotten food? No. No, I think maybe accidentally. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have. But you didn't know it, right? Mm hmm. <laughs> but no, I don't recommend it. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, well, uh, I did. <laughs> I did. I did it. Did it? Yeah. Ah, oh, but long time ago. Long time. Okay. Yeah. Let's... When I was uh, a teenager, I was working uh, far from my house, and and I didn't have anything to eat, so I did it. You did it. Oh, yeah. Okay. But thanks, okay. th thanks to the God that the food uh didn't cost nothing uh, on me. So. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's mm -hmm. good. But well, it's not good as you as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just not longer, right? No. Good to eat. Yes. The, the flavor is not it's not the best one. Mm -hmm. That's 
the problem, I think. And well, you could be sick. Thank God, nothing happened. Well, yeah, exactly. Okay, now, Tiki. What's the meaning of this one? Stinky. That's a new one. It's new? Okay. What could be stinky? To be honest, uh, I don't know. No? Okay. Omar, do you know it? What is stinky? Oh. Maybe maybe when when some when something is is gummy maybe or maybe the uh, for example the aloe I mm -hmm. think is uh, sticky. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. So sticky tending to take to things to own content. Yes, that's a sticky. Oh, oh my god, it's right. sticky. Uh-huh. Yeah, that could be too. Could be used. Good. Okay. Omar, help me to read the example. Okay. The gum on her show was very sticky. Yes, exactly. That's why you call the deposit also a sticky note. Because you can paste it in any place. Hmm? That's why. And the, the, the example that you say, one, this is correct too. That song is sticky. Ah. Yes, huh? we can use I, it. Really? Yes, we can use it. I was joking. <laughs> really? <laughs> but no, yes, we can have it like, we can use it like that. Mm -hmm. Like an abstract or like something tangible. Mm -hmm. ah. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. and... Okay. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, we're going to try with those sentences before we finish. Ooh. Okay, let's see. To, to select the best adjective in each of them. Let's start with paneling. Uh -huh. I know, I know. Uh -huh. The dark mm -hmm. where creepy? No, rampy. Rampy, yeah, right. <laughs> rampy, yes. It's like to say they were angry about their new guests. Mm -hmm. Now instead of use angry, you can use rampy. rampy. What 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 is the the pronunciation about the second one word, Miss? Can you repeat again, please? Words. Words. You don't pronounce letter D. Okay. Hmm? Words. Words. Yes. And do you know the meaning? No. <laughs> okay. They. They are. It's a plural, words. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. That means enano. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Big words. Where are you from? If you watch a lot of the rain, you know the meaning. <laughs> <laughs> so, because I watch the Lord of the Ring, I know the meaning. <laughs> you know, they have it. Okay. Now, let's see. Omar, help me with this. The pineapple. Okay. Okay, the pineapple in the middle is ripe to eat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's ripe to eat. Mm -hmm. And if you want to change ripe, you can say ready, ready to eat. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Both. Now let's see one. The police officer was, was, oh, me. E eager? No. Mm -mm. No, because eager is when you are excited to do something. But I was, I was excited. 
<laughs> if I have police. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mm, nom, 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 nom. You are you are you ready to live in USA, Juan? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I just kidding, bro. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> no, ah, uh, I learned him of hard to be hard. What? What? Hard of rules. Ah, I know what it is. Harsh, yeah. Right, yeah. because it's an abstract. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the police officer was, was harsh with his punishment. Yes, was harsh yeah. with his punishment. Yeah. Okay. Synonym of harsh, rude, or hard? Rude. Yeah. Better rude because it's abstract. Mm -hmm. Rude. He was rude or he was harsh with his punishment. Okay, now Madeline, help me with this. The man was very eager to jump out of the airplane. No. He's so eager. <laughs> hey. Okay. Come on, teacher. Was <laughs> Bold, bold. It's mm -hmm. yeah. why? Why was could be bold? To be honest, could be bold because it's, he was so exciting to do it. He was eager, but bold in this case. Remember to be courageous yeah. to do something. Maybe, maybe it will be joyful, Miss. Or no, not. no, 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 uh -uh, no. Okay. Mm, joyful, no. No, in, in this in this context, uh, yeah, as as you mentioned, it could be like uh, he was uh, uh, adventurous. He was brave to do it. May maybe um, the men, maybe the men are prepared. Um. Yes, you can say they are prepared. But, well, the difference, if you use eager, you are describing that he was excited to do it. The man was very excited to jump out of the airplane. Could be, yes, could be possible. But if you change into bold, the man was very bold, it means that he was brave to do it. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. And joyful, yes, you can use it too. If he was happy, so happy to do it, yes. If it's something that he really wanted to do, we can just a uh, joy. In this in this case in Spanish, like I say, it's como hazaña. Which one? Bold hazaña. It's, it's like uh -uh. Uh -huh. no, no, valiente. Ah, bold, mm -hmm. yeah, brave. Yes, exactly. Mm. Oh, that would be like valiente atrevido. Mm -hmm. Yes, valiente atrevido. Ah, yeah, bold, yeah, yeah. Yes, bold. Exactly. Okay. And if you say eager, that will be emotional. Por. Uh -huh. like In this that. case, it's, it's, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> mm, probably. It was not the yeah. best option. Yes. Okay. Now, Juan, what about this? The men always had a very mm, joyful Come. appearance. <gasps> joyful? Sure. I don't mm -hmm. know. I, I I know I know. <laughs> you told us that you listened that expression in a bad way. Ah, look the picture. Yeah, need. Need. Yes. Yeah, need uh -huh. appearance. A very neat appearance. He was so clean, organized. Yes, well dressed. Mm -hmm. So what's neat appearance? Now Omar. Ah, that yes. was. Yes. <laughs> After touching the plant, her arm was itchy. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. The adjective. What was it? I, I I never forgot that word. <laughs> <laughs> you will never. <laughs> okay. Yes, itchy. Okay. Now 
Oh my God. <laughs> Marilyn, help me with this. <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> the picture of the girl is quite creepy. It looks <laughs> like she's evil. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Totally. <laughs> creepy. Yeah. Okay. Now, Juan. Ah, uh, it's easy. It, 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 it's really easy. I'm not going to answer. <laughs> Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the apples were all rotten. After rotten. being left in the sun all week. Yes. That's true. And this is the glottal stop as well, right? Rotten. Rotten. Yeah. Rotten. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Now let's see, Omar. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, maybe the, their wedding day was the most joyful day of their lives. Mm -hmm. Yes. Alive. <laughs> the day. <laughs> they say the wedding, the wedding day. <laughs> At the beginning, yes. But you wait uh, many years, you, you think it's different. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see, Marilyn. What about this? The pizza dough. The pizza dough was very sticky yeah. when he tried to touch it. Yes. What is it? Ah, it's the last. The last one. Mm -hmm. When he tried to touch it. Yes. Okay. Now let's see one. The, the yes, it's like me. <laughs> Yeah, I always write the hand. Yes. Uh, the student yes. is very um, eager to answer the question. Mm -hmm. Yes, that will be. That is me. Eager. <laughs> yes, because it's excited to answer. Yes, yeah. that's the meaning of eager. Okay, now the last one. No matter how we with this. Oh, okay. The girl's hands were felt to after playing. Mm -hmm. In the mouth. Yes, it felt it because we're so dirty. Yes. Okay, guys. So that was, yes, that was the last. Yes, that was. Okay. So, well, today we studied some advanced adjectives. Now you can replace it for those that you already know. You can switch them in. There's no problem. You can use them and the meaning is the same. Because remember with adjectives, well, we have a lot of adjectives to describe the same thing. So you can switch them, like to upgrade your vocabulary. Okay, guys, so I hope you like it and I will see you tomorrow in our last class, unfortunately. Okay. It was, it was a, a good class. It was amazing. Okay, okay. Thanks for everyone and see you tomorrow. <laughs> thank you, guys. Bye. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. See you.